Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Um, oh, I, it's been so long. I can't believe how long it's been. Um, I hope you're all okay. I've really, really, really missed you all. Um, it's been really strange not like being on video, even though it's something that doesn't come naturally to me. Well, actually, I do talk quite a lot, but um, to video something, it takes. You know, I've got to work myself up for it because it is really, really nerve wracking. Um, but yeah, I just feel really, really weird now being back. It's just so strange doing a video. Um, but yeah, it's me, Amy. Um, I know my, my YouTube name has like sort of confused a lot of people. I really should have, um, explained a little bit better in the last one. I can't even remember the last video I did. I think it was when I was, um, making little albums for my Etsy shop. Um, and I was having like a revamp and things and I just thought, right, I'm going to give it another go with my Etsy shop. It didn't work. It was an epic fail. Um, so I've closed down my Etsy shop and I'm just doing it for a hobby now. I'm just doing it for fun because it's never going to work as part of a, something that I can make money from. I've just got to get around that and sort of, you know, just craft for fun. Um, and I haven't had, my heart hasn't been in it, honestly. It really, really hasn't. Um, since Christmas, really. I know I had been doing a lot of stuff with the albums and things, but I just, I don't know what, I don't know. Um, yeah, I just, it's not something that I really, really wanted to do, you know? Um, but I have honestly been missing everything now. And I thought, you know what, I might come back on and do a couple of videos and maybe start a little bit of crafting. Um, but yeah, so my name changed basically, um, I, uh, I was All Things Crafty with Amy, which would explain a lot more because then obviously my name is Amy um, and not Lily J. Rose Papercraft. Um, but the Lily comes from Alicia's middle name. She's my eldest. Um, the J comes from Jack. He's one of my twins. And the Rose comes from Emily's middle name, which is obviously Rose. Um, yes, I know. I didn't realise. I named her Emily Rose. Oh, my God. Have you ever seen... Um, What's that film called? The Exorcism of Emily Rose. You know that one? That's really, really scary. I kind of forgot what I named her. Um, but yeah, anyway, her middle name is Rose. Um, and I didn't want to have Alicia, Jack, Emily, because I didn't kind of like really ring. So Lily J. Rose so, sort of like really came, rolled off the tongue quite nicely. And I added paper crafts at the end of it because that's what I, in you know, do. Um, so yeah, so that became my name but of course I didn't really explain to people so when I was like commenting on people's videos and not putting my name they were saying hi, hi Lily and I'm like I'm not Lily I'm Amy um but yeah so that is and like I think I did a video and a lot of people were like okay who is this I'm subscribed to this person but I don't actually know who they are um so yeah I um that it's me it's me hello 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 I, I don't really want to change it back now because I'll, I'll think it'll look a bit stupid but um yeah I quite like the name it's nice um but it was going to be something that I would have put like stickers on the back of everything that I created and things but it didn't kind of work out so I'm not you know upset about that or anything it's fine it is what it is um but yeah I hope I just hope you're all really well I I've re I've I haven't been on YouTube as much as I would like to be on YouTube watching videos and things I have caught a few videos um and yeah i i just my heart hasn't been in crafting um i've 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 so i can't remember when i started april i've started um a diet well a diet a healthy way of living then i'm on weight watchers um and i started in april um and i'm doing really well i've lost a stone and four pounds um i've been doing it for about eight weeks now eight or nine weeks um so yeah, so I'm I'm really focused on that and I've been doing a lot of work in the house as well, like cleaning and um, sorting out rooms and things um, just to get our house up to what it was. Because our house is lovely, but it's not very homely. So I've been sort of working on that a lot, which helps because it keeps me busy and keeps me active and it keeps my steps up and things like that. So um, that was great. But then um i had some really sad news my grandfather passed away um shortly after i started um weight watchers so honestly i was all over the place um i did you know i haven't been on facebook or anything like that. it's just it was just really really awful and it's still awful now i think about it i'll try not to think about it too much but um yeah so um that happened 
Um, but I have still, like, I still keep in touch with, um, like, Jude, Seth, Laura, uh, Melanie, Mama Five, you know, the, um, the group that we're in on Facebook, still keep in touch with the girls there. Um, so, yeah, so I, I am around and I know what you're all up to kind of thing. But, um, yeah, I'm sorry I've been a bit quiet. I just, I just wanted to pop on today and just say hello. Um, and um, it's, it's my birthday month. Woohoo! It's actually my birthday tomorrow. It's the 7th of June today. So it's my birthday tomorrow. So I thought, why not? Best time to come on, um, is when I'm being sent loads of things, which is lovely. Um, yeah, so I thought, you know, I'll come on when I'm, when I'm, when I'm happy rather than being all moody and miserable. But, um, yeah, another reason I've come back on is because I haven't been able to do anything. It's because I haven't been able to set up my camera anywhere because, I made the play um, my craft room into a playroom for my children after Christmas. I didn't have anywhere to craft. I had my hobby trolley um, and I had my stuff. I sort of de-stashed a lot of things um, and decluttered everything. I had my papers and things like that. But I was having to, like, if I wanted a craft, I'd have to go onto the dining room table and I'd have to pull things from all over the place, which was really, really annoying. And it would make me feel like I didn't want to craft um so I said to Brian the the kids are not really using they do use the playroom but they're not really in there all the time so I mean I could utilize one corner so what I did is I ordered myself a desk and um I put myself in the corner I've still got very minimal craft and stuff I've got my papers and my gems and you know things like that and my big shorts and my cutter and stuff but um yeah I'm just in the corner really now in the playroom so this is why I was able to set up my camera and stuff back up on here, on my desk, and I can start doing videos again. Um, I'm not sure what people really want to see. I don't know. Um, like I said, I haven't really been crafting very much. I have had things sent to me, um, like this one. I'm just showing you this. This Jude sent me this in springtime. Um, it, it was a. She sent me some Roald Dahl Happy Mail, and it was a gorgeous pocket letter. I just wanted to put that there while I was yakking on. Um, and she also sent me some uh, bits here. Which I'll show you now. Ugh. So she sent me like a memory deck. Which had this gorgeous um, sweetie sprinkles in there. How cool is that? And obviously Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I love Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And she did me some mason jars and shakers. And then in the pocket letter then at the back was all these really cute little cards. Um, that I can reuse and she's put this all hip on there for me and they've just got really cute little dinky cards so yeah there on that so I put see and then all handmade with love by June so yeah so that was lovely and she also sent me a um um like a a hamper with loads of sweets in it, like so it was like from Willy Wonka. Um I can't remember when she I don't know whether she sent that to me after my grandfather had died. I don't I can't I can't remember. It was uh, that sort of time is a bit of a blur to be honest, because I don't I don't remember a lot. But yeah, I'm sure she sent that to me and I of course I'd already started my diet so I couldn't actually eat anything that was in there, which was very, very tough. Um so I ended up giving it to the kids. Um, I wish they were landed about, but yeah, the thought was lovely and it was epic. So, like I say, um, this was from Jude. So yeah, so I just wanted to pop on and just say hello. Um, I've got some birthday mail, um, that I'm going to share with you in my next video, um, from the lovely Melanie. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to say hello, really. And just rather than come on with like loads of birthday mail, um, actually just say hello first, you are, before you get really, really confused and think, oh my God, what, what's going on here? Um, but yeah, I think that's all really that's been happening. It seems to have flown by though. I can't believe it's June. Honestly, I really, really can't. Like it's my birthday tomorrow. And then it's Alicia's birthday on Friday. And we're actually going up to um, Bristol because she wants to build a bear. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And she also wanted to stay in a hotel. So that's what we're doing as well. So that's cost me a fair bit of money. Um, but yeah, um, it's just been really, really quiet. And like I say, I've just been concentrating on losing weight and, um, sort of cleaning really. I've turned it, I turned into Mrs. Hinch all of a sudden. Um, it's starting to sort of slip away now, to be honest. I mean, I still keep on top of things because... 
like I said, the kids are in school, um, and like I do my workout in the morning, and I thought, well, it'd be nice to have to just do some crafting, um, and I've got a few birthdays and that coming up, so I thought, you know, why not now start now? Um, I've ordered a few things from for my birthday with my birthday money, um, which I can't show you because I've kind of I've sorted everything out. I'm very very like into really organizing things at the moment. Well, I have been like that pretty much all my life, really. But um, yeah, so everything has got its like little place. So um, I'll share with you as much as I possibly can, or I'll tell you about it. Um. Yeah, but that was the little card that Jude made me as well. How cute is that? Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. To you, Amy, lots of love from Jude. Love you, miss you already. And there's Willy Wonka and Charlie with the golden tickets. And uh, she said when she was making it, just all she was singing was, I'm not going to sing it, but I've got a golden ticket, you know that one. Um, and then uh, she sent me this one. I'm sure she sent me this one after my grandfather had passed away, I think it was, thinking of you. Um... And it was just a lovely, really nice card with some doodlebug paper on there because we both love a doodlebug. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna stop saying um now. See, this is what I mean. I'm not familiar with how to do videos anymore, and now I keep saying um, and I'm probably doing everybody's head in. So yeah, this is me. Um, uh, and my nails. Oh god, I'm ter my nails have gone terrible. I I've got a terrible habit of biting them, and they've gone really, really. My hands have gone really, really, really dry. Um, but I don't know whether Brian reckons is to do with all the cleaning that I do and all the products that I'm using. But I'm using rubber gloves. But apparently I've been told that rubber gloves really dry your hands out. So I'm using hand creams, but nothing seems to work. So if anybody's got any hints or tips of any really good hand creams out there, let me know. I don't really want expensive, expensive. But I'm also, I'm dodgy with certain things. It can't be very perfumed. And I don't like really oily because I like, you know, it's it's not a very nice feeling on your hands, is it? Um, but yeah, my skin's slightly dodgy, so I have to be careful. Um, so yeah, that's me. So I just thought I'd pop on and do a quick video and just say hello. I hope you're all well. I'd love to hear from you. Please comment below. Um, like I say, I know I've spoken to a few of you, but um, it's just nice to know how you all are. Um, I've been watching like challenges and stuff like that happening and people's series and um, it's just nice to see people putting videos on and like I said I haven't been on there a lot um, the kids have been off school last week they're back in school today woohoo um, and, and they're only in for another six weeks and then they're off like from the I think it's the 16th of July they break up for the summer holidays so which is crazy because Obviously, yeah, that's just gone so, so fast. But of course, COVID has had a massive impact on that. I've had my first job. I haven't had my second job yet. I think it's due, Brian Records is probably due around about July. I think I had mine in May. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I know a lot of people have had like their two of their jobs already. Um, but I haven't. I'm only on my first one. And I was all right after, actually. I didn't, I had a really bad arm. I felt really tired the following day, but nothing major. And like I've seen some people's side effects. It's like, oh God, I hope I don't get that. Um, but yeah, I've been generally feeling, even though I've had like the worst few months ever, in myself, I've generally been feeling really, really well because I've lost weight. Um, it makes me feel better in myself. Does that make sense? Um, I can get up in the morning. I don't have to sort of think, oh my God, I'm never going to be able to get out of bed. I just generally get up now and I'm out of bed straight away. Um, and I feel positive and I want to do exercise and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so I think that has really, really helped, even though it's a struggle, um, it's a struggle because I love food. Um, yeah, I think my birthday is going to be a bit of a struggle now, but I'm going to try and be good this week because we go into Harvester on Friday. So it's on my Weight Watchers app, so I can point everything and I'm allowed to have a treat and stuff like that. And the thing is, though, I'm one of these type of people that once I start having something, I won't be able to stop myself. So I'd rather not give myself the option of having it, if that makes sense. Um, so I know people will say, oh, well, you can have a treat, you know, treat yourself, it's your birthday, blah, 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 blah. But for me... That, it doesn't work for me. I can't just say, right, okay, I'm going to have um, a Kit Kat now because I'll go back to the fridge and I'll want something else. It won't, it doesn't satisfy me. Does that make sense? I I don't know how to explain it other than I think I'm addicted to food. Um, but yeah, I'd rather stay away and keep as I am and then sort of like 
you know, like when I go to Harvester now, like chicken and that is all free for me. So I'll probably stick to like chicken and salad and stuff like that. But I know I can have like ribs or whatever I want and I, I can point it because I've got weekly points as well. But I'd rather not because I'm doing so well and I don't really want the weight to go back on. But I know as soon as I start eating, I've got a terrible problem with binge eating. And I know I'll keep going and keep going and keep going and then that's when I'm going to fall off the wagon. So I'm going to try and be very, very good. Like I say, I do a workout every morning and try and get my steps in. I try and do 10,000 steps a day. Um, I was in work the other day and I did like 19,000, which is my highest ever. Woohoo! I was landed with that. I was really tired afterwards, but um, yeah, because Brian bought me my um, a Fitbit. I had one of the cheapy ones, which was good, but I didn't know whether it was calculating my steps properly. Um, so Brian bought me one for my birthday, uh, a proper one, so I can, um, so what am I on now? 8,041 steps. Um, so yeah, so I can calculate my stuff and it does my heartbeat and tells me how well I'm sleeping and stuff, which isn't great. But um, yeah. So that's me. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now because I'm going to pop on and do another video. And um, yeah, so I shall speak to you all shortly. Thank you ever so much for joining me. And like I say, really, I'd love to hear from you. Um, I've missed you all. And I just hope you're all really, really well and and, and okay. Um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.